Hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial from Whale Jar 3D, bro. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how to use shape keys to animate almost anything your heart desires using an amazing free software called Blender. So wait a minute, what is a shape key, man? Sounds rad. In Blender, a shape key, also known as a morph target or a blend shape in other 3D software, is a feature used primarily in character animation and modeling. It allows you to create and store different versions or shapes of a mesh within the same object. These shapes can then be morphed or blended together to create various expressions, poses or deformations without changing the base geometry. Here's a breakdown of how a shape key works in Blender. So we've got our fresh scene, haven't we? So if we click on our cube for the example, and we go to here where our vertex groups are and our shape keys, what we need to do is we need to create a new shape key. This is like our folder, so if you call it something you want. And then you need to create a key inside it, like a child of this parent. So if we press it again, we'll have key one. This key one is going to represent our first shape, which will be this square, yeah? So if we press key again and get another key, we're on key two now. Now with this selected, we can now modify this shape. So if we press tab and enter the edit mode and say scale it on the Y like so, maybe like scale it on the Z if you want, uh, and then we back out, we've now effectively made two different shape keys. And in order to turn these shape keys on, you basically just need to turn the value up here. Look. Whoop. And there you go. You've got the easiest way to animate ever. How easy is that? So next, so how do we animate this? This is also quite simple. So if we click on key one and we start again with this one, turn it all the way down, we're on key one and we bring our timeline up, go back to frame one. So then you've got two keys. One key is a square, the other is a rectangle, yeah? So what we need to do is we need to establish that this is a square at frame one, don't we? So if we come over to here and we press the value all the way up to one, because this one technically is the square, you know what I mean? Well, if we bring it up to one and then press this button here, it'll keyframe it over here. Look. So at this frame, it's going to be that cube. What's also useful to do now as well is click on the other frame and also insert a keyframe so that we don't have to change it later. So now if we go to the last frame and do the same, but this time switch these two around, like turn this one down and that one up and then press keyframe on each one. There we go and we look at our animation, we can see we have now animated using keyframes. It's really simple. So with this in mind, let's take a look at a more complex object. So let's take a look at something more complicated. If we click on this mouth here, and we move down to our vertex group, so we can see we've got a lot more complicated. I basically got every single syllable you could ever need to animate your voice. And what I do is I basically keyframe every single one at the beginning. And uh, this is the best tip I could give you on this. So if we go to our timeline, like so, and at the very start, you go around and you keyframe every single one. It's a laborious task. But the idea is, let me just do it. And then once you've keyframed them all, you press save, because that'll save you a lot of time as well. And when you're animating these keyframes, you'll be working your way down and you'll be like picking off all the little words that you need to do. And instead of like going up the here and then flipping this one, flipping that one, instead of flipping these two here, the best thing that you need to do realistically is select this one and duplicate it with shift and D. And then when you move it down, you've got all your keyframes carried over and they're all yellowed out. If you don't do this, you're going to have a bad time. Trust me. After this, the world's your oyster and what you can create. Just remember, you can't change the amount of geometry. Like, don't delete anything in one keyframe and expect it not to affect the others. You know what I mean? Well, before you know it, you make it weird things like these. Did he just call us weird? That's totally not cool, bro. <laughs> that hurts my feelings. Hey, Kevin! We have a problem here? Yeah, these little samosas watching need to like and subscribe so I don't feel stupid with no friends. 